Since you have called us, we are willing to speak. And whom are we speaking to? I am a representative of the Universal Council. You're welcome. Thank you. And do you have a name? I will speak to a small group like this. But it is necessary in this case, I believe, because there are so many things happening with your planet and the solar system that is yours. We bring you great tidings of acceptance. We wish to only bring positive information, but although there is much negativity occurring, positivity can be found in many places still. We are here to perhaps answer what questions you may have about us. We feel that it is important that we make ourselves known. So therefore, ask your questions. We do not know exactly what to tell you about ourselves that would be most helpful. Thank you. Uh, Cher has a question. Yes. Greetings. Uh, I just heard about you a couple of weeks ago. Uh, thank you for coming. I know that you are pretty busy. The universe is a large place. And yes, we are very busy. I want to ask you something. I spoke with one of the L collectives, the L email. And the L email, the one about mental health. Yes, and actually I understood from them that instead of the entire seven L collectives that are supposed to come here in a hundred and something years for the ascension, all of them are going to be here in 10 to 12 years, which is pretty amazing. They said it's the situation that was uh, why all of them are going to be here in such a short time. Can you maybe expand on that? Yes, they were given permission to come because this timeline that you are a part of, or the many timelines that echo from the center of this timeline, must exist. And they need to bring their healing energies to this area quickly. You are on the verge of a possible extinction, and we do not want to see that. So the L Collectives will come with permission as long as they do not interfere with the Prime Directive as it's called by your people or understood most clearly by them. We have other words that we would call it, but that one seems to be most generally used. I see, and I want to ask you if you can tell something about the 23rd of September. What do you think that is going to happen? We are not here to predict your future. We are here to observe your peoples, and we are here to govern the universe in a way that would be fair. You are not part of any galactic councils at this time, and therefore, your jurisdiction is under your own galactic councils. Therefore, we speak to your galactic councils about you, and we know where you stand on many points of uh, government. We understand where your galactic government also is uh, working with you in some ways. The alignment on the 23rd of this month can be generally apocalyptic if that is what God desires. Now, the way that gravity moves is not well understood by the average human being. It works and can move similar to how light moves. Do you grasp that? That it can curve and bend, and it can be 
particle and matter at times. You have not discovered this, perhaps. But it is that it will be as it should be. And I do not want to make any predictions about what will happen, because we are here to observe it and perhaps send our own version of help in the future. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Homran has a question. Thank you. Yes. 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 He has a yes. yes. Hello. Hello, Universal Council. It is great. great. It, it's great to meet you, speak to you. Yes. Um, yes. My question is, I feel something huge happened in astral or was, or was triggered to start something new. I don't know what that is. Could you maybe tell us if you are connected with that? Of course. We are not connected to it, but we see it. It is this alignment of planets, but it goes far beyond the alignment of planets. It's alignments of star systems. It's something that has not occurred for many thousands of years in, for your solar system. In fact, it might be unique to this solar system for the first time. The energies that will be coming from this alignment and from the alignment of star systems, especially Virgo, is rather significant the constellation that is of your that you see from your angle does that answer right. your question? Okay. question we cannot elaborate other than to tell you to study some of your old prophecies because it is there written exactly how it is and it is fairly precise as to how the alignment is. Yes, I just thought it was strange for me to feel that a huge number of, mm -hmm. of entities you in You are from a greater past, a greater universal existence. And so you are aware of the things that happen in the universe to some extent. You always have been and always will be. All right, thank you very much. And also, are, oh. is, is it true a lot of, a huge number of entities in astral are moving toward something? Towards something, yes. a yes. source of some kind? Okay, great, thank you. There is, there are many species and many entities, as you call them, moving and being directed toward this solar system. At this time, they are very interested in the way that things are happening in your timelines and in your solar system and even in your galaxy. Many things have changed, and some things that were not foreseen are now being observed. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Um, Angie has a question now. Uh, good day. Good day. <laughs> um, I'd like to ask you a question about time and how, how, do you, how do you experience time? What we know of yeah. through the aliens, they always say it's now. But I do understand that there must be some kind of an alignment or some sort of cycles that you go through to experience these things. How do you experience them? We must put parameters on time so that we can organize ourselves. Mm -hmm. It is only for organizational purposes. You see, time does not really exist in what you might call a reality until you put it into uh, parameters and give it a reality. Mm -hmm. Now, 
that may be hard for some to exist. But space is a reality. Distance is a reality. But time does not exist except with creating different parameters. Your planet has created a 24-hour day, which is your perspective of time. We have a quite different perspective. Galactic days, galactic years, universal days and universal years can be perceived by some species in very different ways. But as we come together as a collective, we must have a parameter set that all can adhere to so that we may all be in the same place at the same time. So therefore, we will put universal parameters on things, the way that the sky is set from different angles, from different planets, from different solar systems, from different galaxies. So therefore, when we set down our parameters, we give them access to the thought processes that are used for these algorithms and for these time settings. We do not expect everyone to use these on their own planet because they have already cre created their own parameters within their own space and elemental realities. Therefore, when the Universal Council convenes, we use our own parameters, and all species must be in tune with this so that we may meet at once. That sounds uh, interesting. Um, it w Would that be possible to learn it at some stage in our life? So, because we're becoming uh, more galactic. Um, yes. Uh, it could be the algorithm of it could be taught to you, but the perception of it cannot, because where we meet, you cannot be there to see what the sky looks like from that place. Meaning right. that you are on Earth and you see your sky in a certain way. It, you have mapped it out by constellations and things of this nature, by galactic areas and thoughts. Where we meet in the center of the universe, you have no perception of what the stars are looking like in sequence from there. So therefore, we have to use that parameter, those parameters for the basis of our algorithm. We may teach you that algorithm and those, the time sequences, but it will not be possible to learn them until you can see them from the right angles. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I understand it to some degree. It'd yes. be perceivable probably in, an, in a different uh, dimension or density, higher, higher up. Right. It is a combination of densities that we okay. must work with because the species in the Universal Council are from all dimensions. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. That, that was interesting. Very well. Thank you. Greetings again. Um, Greetings. <laughs> This is Christine. Um, it occurred to me with all these different happenings that are going on, which I wasn't aware of. I'm busy with my own little life here. Um, does, is um, Trump and Pence and Paul Ryan, these people who are supposed to be steering the United States towards something good, I hope, um, are they aware of all these things that are happening? Is that why there's so much such a big mess with them trying to uh, which they refuse to. I understand 
they're too busy with the two hurricanes. Um, are they aware of this? Is this is this why they're so messed up? They they are aware of what they want to be aware of. They are not aware of all galactic things except for their sciences. They choose to ignore many things that are brought to them because it does not interest them or it is not part of the immediate awareness of what they feel that they need to do. Now, these things that they are aware of uh, have different priorities than you might think. The universe is a tiny priority when it comes to running a world or being part of a world because as you see, humans as a whole, individually, have limited points of view and cannot usually see the big picture, as you call it, at any one particular time unless they do introspection and then bring it out into the fullness of understanding. Introspection must be done to understand the individual before they can put themselves into the picture that is true about what is happening around them. Do you understand that? Unfortunately, yes. Um, in October, that's supposed to be the next meeting. Am I correct? Or, um, you are breaking was, up. Would you please repeat the question? Is um, October when the next galactic meeting with world leaders going to take place? They had, you mean with Gurkfik near and your world? Yes. It is supposed to happen around then, but with all the things that are happening in your particular world, all things have been postponed. Ah, I was wondering if Trump was going to take his daughter with him, or if his daughter, does his family know about the Galactic Committee or this planet? They know some things, but do not know all things. They are kept away from the more interesting particulars of Galactic Councils because he wants them to be focused on their particular jobs in third dimension. Yes. They are not privy to all the information that he has and would not even want them to be. I'm hoping there's a lot of soul growth going on here, which I'm sure. Another what? I'm hoping there's gonna, I'm hoping for everyone concerned that there's a lot of soul growth going on. Here, I see. For, yes. Um, I, cannot, I cannot speak about that at this time. Thank you but very much. But let me tell you this. The view from okay. the Universal Council is dire at this time. It would appear that there are many, many too many things happening at once. Yes, yes, only God. This is because of the workings of humanity more than anything else. There are great galactic energies. There are motions of your Earth within itself to purge itself, but humanity itself is working against itself. Hmm. And thus Gaia is stepping in, perhaps. I cannot comment on that. Okay, thank you. Blessed be. Blessed be. Okay, thank you. Temple has a question. Hi, um, my question is, can you elaborate on some of the recent manipulations of the various types of light workers that seem to be appearing? Um, I'm not really understanding it. I understand the free will, but like my count is somewhere around eight and that's just in my small, my small world. So I think something's happening and I'm not really sure what's going on. Your count is eight, please explain. 
Um, the, just the number of people that I know or that I follow that have had some sort of manipulation on their belief system where in the past they were helping many and now they, they feel like either they were wrong to do so or that their previous belief is no longer existent and they, they fall back. And I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to understand what's happening because it's not just one. It seems like there's many. Thank you. There is much negativity in your, on your planet. And those that have great missions are being turned away because they are being deceived by what they believe are intellectual truths. Spiritual truths are much more permanent and positive, but they have intellectualized and seem to have a following that wants to hear about negative or intellectual things and not spiritual things as much. They, these spiritual things they are afraid of. I do not know why. But yes, there are many being pointed in different directions, but they will be awakened. Fear not, they will have to come back in order for their missions to be completed. Okay, um, thank you. So it's, it's not something or some energy, oh, yeah. it's their, their own selves and what the, the masses that follow them are the, conflicting. Yes, Energies. they want to be popular. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is part. I could go on and tell you many things that are happening. The negativity deals with each one in their own particular way. They all have weaknesses, and the negativity knows what they are and deals with them in their most vulnerable place. Okay, I would love to know more, but I will let somebody else answer a question or ask a question. Thank there you. is much to say about that, and it is a difficult answer because it is so multifaceted. Sure. Thank you. May I say something? Okay. Yes, this, there is a, a person here to say something. We as light workers can treat this as a call for community. And by banding together, by talking with other like-minded individuals, by helping our fellow light workers come together, this is how we show unity in community. This is how we overcome the darkness. This is how we show other people how to be the light, which shows that these difficulties that we are having are things that all of us that can overcome. Interestingly said, yes, it is the same with the Universal Council. We hold light for one another, even during the times when there are wars in some spaces of the galaxies in the universe. We try to hold light as much as possible for each species. It is not always easy, but it is necessary for us to come together as a universal council. Even though we may not all agree in some fashions about the way things should be handled, we agree that the spirit must be in charge. Thank you. Um, Marlene has a question. Yes, sir. Greetings. Greetings. I would like to address Saturn. Uh, we know that Saturn has had a lot of, or has had focus on Earth through time and still has. And my question is, how and what is their impact and their influence on the turmoil happening on our beautiful planet at this time? All the planets have some impact, as you know, because of their different gravitational pulls and their distance from the sun and the earth and from one another. Also, the asteroid belt. 
all things have a degree of manipulation on what happens to in other places. You call this horoscope or something of that nature. We do measure these energies, distances, and mathematical equations. Remember this, Saturn is quite large. Its gravitational pull does have effect on the Earth. And now, during the alignment with Jupiter, two very, very large planets, and Uranus as well, they are going to have gravitational effects on the Sun and on the Earth. I am not sure what you want me to say. I will not tell you the future of this, but I can tell you that with these great gravitational pools and the way that gravitational can move, gravity can move, there could be huge consequences without the help of some outside forces. Thank you. Also. Thank How you. about the rings of Saturn? And what would you have me say about them? They are crystallized ice for the most part and different kinds of chemical makeups. That is why the colors may change. But they are there for a purpose and they do affect part of what happens. There are some planets within the rings. Are you aware of this? Yes. These planets have life, or at least one of them that we know of. Do the rings, the number of rings, or have the number of rings increased recently? Yes. But it is not a concern of ours at this point. It will affect Earth, but we just do our studies as they come. These things happen all over the universe. Changes occur, and they will always occur. And we are not surprised anymore about these kinds of changes. Some chemical reactions have happened, and some gravitational things have made changes in the rings of Saturn. So therefore, it is purely scientific to us. Yes, I understand. Thank you. We are not seeing that it is actually a direct part of any kind of prophecy or insight to cause any changes on your planet. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I know that that information is not the same as what you heard, but remember, we are from a greater picture. We are from the universe. Some may see it differently. Yes, of course, but uh, as long as we all come together to agree on the larger plane. Yes, on the larger plane, things will be agreeable. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for that question. I found it very interesting because I can see in your thought process there are some things that you think that might affect the planet. Yes, you have read me well. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, how are you doing? Do you have time for more questions or do you plan to stay for a little while? Up to you. We are here by your request. We will leave. No, it's, a, it's up to you. <laughs> Okay, I will. David has a question and then share. Hello. Yes. Um, I'm interested in, in what way can I help with my, my abilities. I'm wondering about, I don't fully understand. I was, uh, I was taken at one point and something happened to prevent me from using my abilities. So I just 
wondering if you could give me a better understanding of of what kind of things that I can do with my healing. There, there are others just as you that have been taken and had their abilities stifled. But this is your answer. The ability to return to full awareness and to full usefulness in your mission will bring you to even a higher place than where you were originally because of the things that you must go through. The strength that you must have to bring yourself through this will bring you to a higher place in the mission, a higher place in the in standing. Communication with your peoples. So do not be frightened, but pull yourself up and let yourself know that if you clear out and and understand that you are as as good as you once were, and bring your thought processes back into line with positive thinking and positive uh, stimulation, you will then again be where you were and beyond. Okay, and um, I was, how about working with the grid lines, is, is there are you, are you able to can always use your help? How, how would I do that? I'm not sure how to do that. Would be most appreciated, I am sure. <coughs> Grid lines on all planets always need energy. And and how do I how do I do that? I haven't been told how to how to help do that. Just do it. You don't need to be told how to send energy. Just send energy to where you, your brain will send energy, your hands will send energy. If they are intentioned for the grid lines to receive them, they will receive them. You do not need to know where they are. You do not need to know what they look like. You do not need a lesson on how to send energy. You already know how to do that. They will receive them by intention. Yes, very good. Thank you. Thank you. And Shir has a question. Shir. Greetings again. Um, I want to have your opinion about something that I thought about. If the Earth is going to be destroyed by different things because of North Korea or the, st uh, the stuff that, that are going on around the world, I think that the politicians, the higher up, do have their own back plans how to get away from the planet and stuff like that. My question is this, if we are going to be destroyed because of the politicians and once they leave Earth, are they, let's say, up for grab? Is the, the galactic crews are going to keep them safe or they will be captured by the alliances? There are many backup plans for your planet. We are praying that none of them need to go into effect. We pray that you, as a species, will come to your senses. And at this point, that is not happening, but you still have a time before there is an elimination of humanity on your planet. So therefore, you do have some time to work with, but it is not a great deal of time. And so, therefore, we are hoping that the thoughts and prayers of many in the universe and on your own planet will become evident to the leadership. Remember, it is your planet, and you must take care of it. We are not the servants of your world, necessarily. We must be fair and help you with whatever we can, but we cannot save you from yourselves. My question is, if they're going to have the same fate as the rest of us, because if they will understand that humanity will not survive, means they will not survive, I think they will try to help us in order to help themselves, if you understand what I'm speaking about. 
Well, with all the great energies that are coming to pass at this time, it would appear that they are limited in their escape routes. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, there's a question in the chat and, and, uh, about contact, um, about when that there's many, be there's many beings that say it'll be in 2018 or 2030, and they would like to know, just on your opinion, when will this take place? No one can say the exact time, because what I understand from your Galactic Council of your Milky Way is that there are certain situations and certain agreements that must be upheld before anyone can make first contact with your species. Your governments must be in alignment in some ways, at least a great percentage of them. Also, who, no one wants to make contact at this time when there are so many weapons pointed into space and so many threats even to yourselves one to another. This is not the time for us to come or for anyone. But your time, hopefully, will show that your leadership will come to its senses in some way. But as we see what is happening, I have had to stop there because I was about to say something that was not helpful. But let me say this that will be helpful. You must all hold the light for your leadership. Your leadership is the key. Thank you. Um, there's also a question, and it's it's a question that's been asked and answered many times, but um, about the fact that there's this belief that Earth is, everyone is focused on Earth, and that we're sort of, everyone, all the beings are focused on us. Is that actually so, or is it just in this time we're quite interesting? But I, I can't imagine that there's not other worlds that are also evolving in such a way, waiting for the difference is this. There are quite a few with the different alignments that are happening, the different energies, the, the apparent changes in your sun, the uh, timelines overlapping. Many things are very unique in this area at, the at this time, and that is why there are many there. But the other thing that is unique is the way that you are hybridized and what effect that can have on the galaxy. All right, thank you so very much. I, are there any other questions in the chat? Because I, I don't see them, if there are. Very well. Perhaps it is time for us to go. It was good to introduce ourselves to you, and we are happy to have made your acquaintance. We hope that this will not be our last time to visit with you, but remember this, you must first be part of the galaxy before you then become part of the Universal Council. The Universal Council is very diverse and very unique. Therefore, that is all I will say for now. We wish you all the best. We are sending energies, and some of the species, or I should say many of the species that are part of the Universal Council, also are known to you. There does seem to be one more question that, that I missed. So um, Liney has a question. If we can just stop you from leaving for one second. One moment, I will stay. Thank you. Hello. Greetings. Greetings to you. Um, yeah, I was really interested to know, um, with the planetary alignment on the 23rd of September, has anyone um, done some kind of simulation to see what could happen with the planetary alignment? Simulations, but you do not know the uh, 
the exact gravitational pulls that alignment will not be exact, but will, it will be close to exact at some point. Now, they would have to make all the relative changes to know exactly what the force will be that they are dealing with. And they, they cannot do it. They do not have that kind of information available to them. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. They do have similar information. They have approximations. And they are fairly good approximations. But actual uh, numbers are not available. And actual... Uh, um, interactions are not available because they've never experienced this before and therefore they are unaware of some of the effects that could happen so they cannot see them in advance. Thank you so very much. And there are some additional questions that have just come up now if you, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Yes. We seem to not want you to leave. <laughs> uh, Pete has I've... a question concerning that he was staying at his family's house and his mother heard singing throughout the entire night. He wanted to know if that is his, uh, his, his wife uh, from another galaxy and did she have any, was it a message for him? Let me see if we can... Can I attach to that female that heard the singing? I'm not sure. Who is it? The female ah, is Pete's mother. I can attach through him one moment. Okay. Her homeland, yes. His wife is deceased. It was her, but she is not alone. Okay. She has brought angels and half whores with her. They just want everyone to know that she is fine, but there is something more. There is a message for him, and this is what it is. His energies are being affected by those that are around him in the fourth dimension. And his fourth dimensional energies are getting stronger, but he is still not happy with the way things are. I, I truly understand what he means, but let him discover that they are bringing him to a greater fullness, a greater positivity, a greater edification, and that he will be stronger and there will be someone else there for him. Okay, perfect. And then there's a question from the chat asking if, if it's possible to join your council. Is, it a, is that a joinable thing or are you a, are you a group of... I was in you must clear. first belong to the Galactic Federation because the Galactic Federation in all galaxies are connected to the universal groups. And therefore, your planet has not made a galactic connection at this time. You personally may join us in the we are meeting, or when the Galactic Federation is moving that direction. We welcome individuals. You may not remember everything. It is on so many levels that it is very difficult for an astral being to comprehend what is going on, but we will actually welcome you if you want to join. Thank you very much. Marlene has a question. Yes. Greetings again. I would like to ask you about the frequency band. Uh, as we know that often uh, humanity and planet is, is manipulated on a negative basis and uh, makes things occur. How can the, uh, uh, the enlightened beings on the planet help and uh, shift the existing frequency band 
created at this particular time. And through their positivity and connecting of the light workers together. Remember, each of you is a light. You hold light for one another. Remember to connect yourselves daily to bring that gr the grid of light. Even those that are in negativity have the light of God within them. And if you connect that, it weakens their power. So remember to continually connect all the, the bands of light, all the frequencies together. Now, let me add something else to this. I do not think of the same bandwidth that you do, and I understand that. That is fine. You are studying in different terms than I, than I do, but yet the information is similar, but spoken in a different way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Therefore, let me tell you this. What you call the cabal, or what you call the, the most powerful people on your planet, are the greatest form of your negativity because they are in control. They have found a way to control the planet through the weather, through uh, the money, and through the manipulations. Uh, but AI, artificial intelligence, are also nearby, bringing chaos and uh, non-symmetrical thought process to the human controlled by AI, which is very distant, yet very powerful. Are you aware of this? Yes, very well. And, and when I was asking the question, um, AI, artificial intelligence, is what came on, was on top of my mind. So I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm thank you for addressing so you are correct. Your thought process says I can read very easily. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, yes, because we are on similar frequencies as far as intellectual thought process. You are high intellect and you have many things to offer your species. But you are also, we can also can. I'm sorry, um, the, the, your information was cut. I did not hear the, la the, the last part of what you said. I'm sorry. I said we can connect mentally because we are on similar frequencies. Yes, thank you. Concretely, how can we, um, I know that collectively we come together and all, but concretely, how can we counteract at our level? You must intention it, you must believe it, and you must act on it. Many people do not know how to act on it, and it's as simple as uh, making your light as bright as possible and bringing others uh, into that light as quickly as possible and letting their light shine. You see, when you rise up as a bright light, you bring others around you up with you. Do you understand that? Yeah. It is a matter of science, but also of spirit. Yes, I understand. So there um, is no formula that can break through greater than spirituality, positivity, and the intention of moving forward in a positive way. Is there any other way that you can see to defeat them? They are only humans to begin with. How do grids... Um, they can strengthen you. Use your grids. Intend that your grids help you and empower them. Intend that Mother Earth empowers you. Intend that air and water empower you. Intend that moon and sun empower you. Bring all positive elements into your manipulation as a human being. It is part of your belief system that is not a very well known that you are in control of all things. Absolutely. 
Um, if you can, yes, yes, you were to say something. I just want to say that I can speak to you that way because you can comprehend it on a level that will be useful. Yes, thank you so 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 very much. I appreciate it. And uh, also, if I can ask you to add me to your list for the next meeting, which next will be soon. Meeting. We are okay. planning to meet soon. There are already those from distant galaxies on their way to the center of the universe. Some part of my group? Perhaps. Well, can I be included? I already included you. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I, I need to clarify from the chat. Trinity was the one asking the question about joining the council, and she would like you to personally know that she would like to join the council, if that's very possible. Well. Very good. I understand. Um, I would like also to volunteer if it's you are already permitted by your father. Ah, okay, thank you. There are several humans that do come or attempt to come. They do not always understand it always, but they are welcome. Thank you. There's some questions about AI intelligence, if they can achieve uh, uh, true consciousness. If you have a comment on that. AI are, they have gained many things over the centuries. They have plasma of different types that will seep into their beings. They will become sentient in a different way than most beings become sentient because it's from osmosis and not from um, organic beginnings. Does that make sense to you? Uh, to me, yes, but the, the question was from Krellick. So, and but so I think he understands as well. will, within the next 200 years, become sentient and start to understand the need for emotion and uh, how it can help with decision making and manipulation. So they will eventually be a little more dangerous, but in some ways they will actually start to care about things in a different way. Now, we do not know exactly how this osmosis effect will affect them they could become worse or better. We are praying that it makes them better. And we are sending energies of positivities to them always. But right now, they react in a chaotic and non-symmetrical, intelligent form, because that way it keeps them, it keeps their signals unidentifiable and helps them manipulate in a way that none others, no other species can. Most species use organizational thought for manipulation. Theirs is from chaos and, and changing thought patterns so that they may in affect or infect a species. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Temple has a question. Yeah. Um, thank you. I, sitting here just listening, I got really woozy and like my throat chakra started closing and stuff. And so I just feel really like I have to ask, is there a message for me or is something coming through? Thank you. For you. And the throat being the communication chakra, it is one that someone wants to speak to you, but it was not from me, but there is an important uh, message to be relayed. One moment, please. And uh, let me see if I can attach to that entity. Yes, you are going to be stronger, but there is, you have come through a great deal of difficulty recently, and they want you to speak about it to help other people. Does that make any sense to you? Um. 
It does and it doesn't because I was told that I should not speak about certain things. So I get confused as to what I'm allowed to speak about and what I should not speak about. They are saying the time is coming shortly that you must speak because it will help others. But the time was not yet. It is not quite yet. And they're, they're saying that this information, they did not want you to speak because it would be misunderstood. But there will be coming a time soon that it will be very understood. Okay. And then I just have one quick question. Um, can, will they allow me or is it in my best interest to like dig deeper into the, these frequency issues that a lot of the um, light workers are having and talk about them? Because I feel like I need to talk about these issues that are going on, why so many are having problems and dropping out and speaking speak to them in love speak to them in unity speak to them about uh, where their heart is and why they want to move away because those that are moving away are not using unconditional love they are using the hurt to move away they are using the negativity to plant blame and to point fingers. Let them use their unconditional love to actually see the whole picture and what is happening. Show them that the whole picture is that negativity wants to destroy community. Okay, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Um, there's, how. how are you doing for, we're, we're coming up on the end of time, but how are you doing for Staying, how do you feel about staying or going? Are you there? About disconnecting. Okay, okay. We started a little late, so we can we can go for a little longer or, or stop at any time. It's, if you it's wish me to stay, is there another question? There were, there was, let me just double check a moment. And the comments are that people would like to talk to you more in the future if you would be willing to come back. So, let me I just am check. willing to come back. Thank you. And I can stay for a, a few more questions if that is what they would require. Okay. Um, I, I'm looking quickly. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss any questions. I think that we're okay. I think that we're okay. So. There is an energy group that is coming into this area, and I am now pushing them out. It is all right. Everything is fine. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are detecting it as well. Yes. And you are detecting it as well. Yes, and I they are being hold, held by those that detected within the room. You want to lead us in an energy work to help us move whatever that is? It is done. Okay, thank you. The energy work was done. Thank you. What is the next question? I don't have any questions right now, but uh, people are asking for a blessing. Uh, there is a question in Oh, and the question in the room. Thank you. you spoke, Come closer. You spoke of how um, light energy bends and that gravity energy bends as well. How is that going to affect the earth as gravity energy bends? It will pull the energy into your energy because you are in part of the front of the group of the alignment. Does that make sense? It will pull the gravitational energy into your gravitational energy. You are in, you are in the more front portion of the alignment and behind you are giant planets. Uranus is giant, Jupiter is giant, and Saturn is giant. And it's 
Yes, I'm being told that it's pronounced Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, psychically, I was told it's spoken Uranus. But that was some nice comic relief there for us. They find some humor within that, but I am not sure exactly why. But that is all right. We must move forward. Time is of the essence. Thank you. And then David does have a question. David. Okay, head on mute. Yes, um, I'm, I was curious about any kind of guidance. I was also, like Temple, um, told that it would be good to speak to people to be able to help them with the experiences that I went through, um, to be able to help them. In what ways would I get out to speak to people? Would it be like in person or a book, or what do you recommend to you share? You can do one on one right now. You see, it may help people, and they will talk amongst themselves about your experience, and some may come to you personally because they have something that they need to ask you. So don't worry about speaking in front of groups of people at this time. All things, all missions start out small and grow to the size that they are meant to be with your own permission to grow and with God's permission to feed and nourish you in the spirit. Okay, good. So I'm doing that, great. That is fine. Start off the way you start off, but be positive, informative, and speak with humility. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Much love. Much love. And Don has a question. Dawn, I do not hear him. I think he's trying. I will wait. Dawn, do you have the ability to speak? Do you have any questions? Or, sorry. Do you have any information for me at this time? Yes, you are doing some great work at this time. I connect to you very well also. You're of a high energy and high frequency. Continue to move forward. Purify all those things that may seem to be cluttered. And you, your thought processes will come in greater alignment even than they are now. You are of a positive entity and your work is strong. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that answer. Blessings. You are welcome. I think we've reached the end of our questions now. Excellent, because they are telling me that it is time to go. Thank you. Would you like to I, leave us with a blessing? I will leave you with a universal council blessing. One, that, one of many that we speak one to another. Because remember, we have several different species within our existence, our realms, and sometimes you need a most specific prayer for everyone to become a part of it. Does that make sense to you? Yes, thank you. And there are hand motions that go with it because there are some that have no interpreters, no translators, but they have learned the galactic language through the hand gestures. Let me see if I can say it in English. Welcome to all and blessings in the paths of all greater solar systems and galaxies around the universe. We bring you greetings and love and prayers, and we bring you the light within us to share. Now that we are gathered, we may communicate the things of the heart 
of the mind and of the intellect. Remembering that all things are important one to another and that we commune in peace and spirit and love one for another. The council gathers and prays for all beings, no matter if they are part or not of this universal gathering. Let it be known that we are here, and if there is help that is necessary to be given, we will call on you for your agreements and to help in whatever way is possible within universal laws. Much love at all times given to the fact that you are a member, you are a heart felt person to us. Keep us in your heart as well. Break forth into your own intellectual process, but remember to uplift us all at once. Meskyaft nocch ara enzunch entkekyub otkats. And that is to say, love through eternity and God for unification in the spirit of all that exists. Let our energies unite formidably. Much love. Much love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaste to you. Namaste.